second grade. This past week, we learned some rules about adding vowel suffixes to the end of a word. Can someone tell me what a vowel suffix is? So like the name implies, a vowel suffix is a suffix or an ending that we put on a word at the end, right, ending, that starts with a vowel. Can anyone tell me one of the vowel suffixes that we've been using this week? All right, if you said ed, d, t, past tense ending, then you are absolutely right. That's one of our vowel suffixes. Oh, that's not a very beautiful ed, d, t. I like the lined paper better. I don't know why I try and write on the board without it. All right, class, what is another vowel suffix? Right, we have our, our ing is another one we were using. And what sounds are in our vowel suffix ing? Very good, it's i, mm, mm. All right. So that is another vowel suffix that we've been using this week. Another one that we used a lot is er the er of her. Right. So we will put our er the er of her up here. So these are all suffixes, which just means you put it on the end of a base word and they all start with a vowel, which is why we call them our vowel suffixes. All right, so we learned two rules about adding vowel suffixes to words today. And I want us to review those rules and practice them with one more word because we're going to be doing this all the time. And our goal for this year is that if I ask you, oh, put that in the past tense, um, you know how to add this without even, you know, we wouldn't even spell that word. You would just write the word and then in the past tense. All right, so that's what we're working towards. That's why I wanted us to practice again. And I want you to feel confident in the skills that we're learning. Okay, so let's start with our one, one, one rule. All right. Let's review what a one, one, one word is. I know this rule, there are a couple things to keep straight, which is why practice is good. So our one, one, one words, what is our first one? Right, our word is one syllable. All right, and then our other ones are our word ends with one vowel followed by one consonant. So those are our three ones, one syllable, ends with one vowel followed by one consonant. All right, when we want to add a vowel suffix to a one, one, one word, we do something to the last consonant in our one, one, one word. What do we do? Great job if you said double it. All right, we have to double that last consonant. All right, so let's write the word shop. What's the word? Good. Um, I will shop when we go to Albuquerque. Shop. What sounds do you hear in the word shop? Very good. Our sounds are shh, ah. All right, write those sounds and say them while you write them. Put your finger under that first phonogram. What do I need to write to spell shop? Good. Shh. Good. Ah. And good. All right, so make sure your shop looks like mine. And let's mark it. Do we need to mark this? 
Excellent. We need to underline it. It's saying its first sound. All right, let's read our word. All right, so we could check. Let's see, let's check if our shop is a one, one, one word. Let's find the syllables, shop. Remember the syllables are how many times your chin goes down, shop. All right, that's just one syllable. So I did the first one. Let's see, does it end with one vowel? I know that this is a vowel followed by one consonant. I know that's not a vowel, so it's got to be a consonant. So yes, shop is a one, one, one word. All right, so if I want to add a vowel suffix to my one, one, one word shop, what am I going to do to this last p? Excellent. I am going to double it. All right, so let's write the word shopping. All right, on the weekend, I go shopping for groceries, shopping. All right, so we're going to, um, let's see. All right, so we have talked about how this always gets its own syllable too. So while we're learning, we can find the syllables, but generally we can remember, oh, if I add that, it's got a vowel sound in it, so I know it's gonna have another syllable. All right, so shopping, yep two syllables. The first syllable is our base word shop. So can you write that first syllable shop and put your syllable mark at the end? All right, class. And now tell me what we need to write for our last syllable to use our 111 rule and then add our vowel suffix. So the first thing we're, oh my goodness. Well, class, yep, you can tell I'm filming this video pretty late at night. All right, so I have my first syllable shop, and now I need to add my vowel suffix. But before I do that, what do I need to do to my last consonant? Excellent, I need to double it. So double that last consonant, this guy right here. And then what are we going to write to add our vowel suffix? Ing. Good, eh, mm. All right, write that and say it while you write it. Gosh, I'm gonna have to move around more so those lights don't turn off on us again because that, it was very dark in here. All right, class, put your finger under that first phonogram in shopping and tell me what I need to write to spell it. Good. Shh. Ah, good. Oh, good. I have my consonant that I doubled, so I have another. And what else do I need to write? Good. Eh. Hmm. All right, so make sure that your word looks like mine. And let's mark it. Good, we need to underline that. How about this? We need to double underline that consonant that we doubled. It's silent, so that's why we double underline it. And good, we underline our mm mm. -mm. All right, let's add one more vowel suffix to our base word shop. All right, let's add our edit past tense ending and we'll have the word shopped. What's our word? Very good, shopped. One time I shopped for four hours, shopped. All right, let's check on the sil syllables, shopped. All right, still one. All right, so what are we gonna write to spell shopped? Good, our base word. What do we do to this last consonant? Good, double it. And then what do we have to add to make that t sound? Very good, it's our ed, d, t, p. 
past tense ending. So write the sounds in shopped. Don't forget to double your last consonant and say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell shopped? Good, I've got my base word right there. Shopped. What do I do to this last consonant? Very good, I double it. And what's next? Good, the sound is t, but it's our ed, d, t, past tense ending. Good. All right, so make sure your word looks like mine, and let's mark it. Good. Good, we double underline it because it's silent. We don't hear it, we just had to double it. And how about this? Good, we underline our edit past tense ending. Let's see which of its sounds it's saying in shopped. Say the sounds of the phonogram for me, please. Good, it's ed, d, t, so it's, we're going to put a little three on top of it. Oh, and I forgot to have us read shopping, so we'll read our two words. Or maybe I didn't. Is this why I shouldn't make videos so late? All right, excellent work with that, second grade. Um... So we'll call it that for this lesson.